Gigi Vela. Every day it's, uh, it's a new experience. Every patient is a new challenge. D'accord, comment tu t'appelles mon pauvre Berenice Alors dis-moi, est-ce que tu as beau au ventre This is Paris and Dr Myrna Saloum, who I'm about to talk to, is a physician focused on bringing healthcare to patients in their homes. And the V-Scan Air is the newest tool in a doctor's bag. Hello, Becky. Ça va? How are you? Ça va? How are you? Entrez. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Dr Myrna, it's lovely to meet you. What is your medical background? I'm a GP and emergency practitioner also. So I go with my bag with every kind of equipment. I can see uh, elderly people, uh, kids, uh, all kinds of medical problems. It can be just a, a small problem like a sore throat or more difficult, severe and need to do some exams uh, more than uh, just listening to, to the heart and to, to the chest, like a urine exam or ultrasound exam, uh, for example. And Dr. Mona, how long have you been using ultrasound for? Five years ago, I noticed that uh, the ultrasound is going to be uh, the future of the general practitioner every day for a lot of kind of problems. So today I cannot imagine my practice without ultrasound. You've been using a uh, new technology um, as part of your ultrasound practice. Tell me a little bit more about it. It's the V-Scan Air, right? Yeah, that's it. It's the new one. I've been using it since um, September and uh, really it's very, it's an amazing uh, machine because it's wireless, uh, it's not heavy, the quality of the image is really amazing because of the clarity of the details we can have of the, um, of the image. Just as I have my eyes inside of, uh, <laughs> of the patient, it's really magic. Uh, Dr. Myrna, what, what would be your advice to clinicians who are considering handheld ultrasound? Uh, GPs or emergency uh, practitioner, I tell them that it's the future of our practice. Would you recommend the V-Scan Air to them? Yes, of course, uh, it's a real revolution. And so with just this one, two probes, we can see almost more, more than 90% of what, what we need for the GP practice. What, what do patients say when you turn up with this piece of technology? For, for a small moment, they don't, uh, don't believe it's true. So for a moment, for some minutes, they forgot their pain and they <laughs> forgot their problem and they are like, like kids. I show them, I can explain in the image what's the problem, why there's an indication to go to the emergency department, why not. It can help them to be calm, less stressed. For the kids, it's very funny. They, I can say to them, you look, that's uh, your kidney or uh, bladder. So uh, when I think they have appendix problem, I can show, uh, well, the problem is here. Because of this, you have to go to the emergency. For example, when it's uh, an appendix problem for a kid, I uh, send image to, to the parents and they go with this to the emergency department and it needs less time for the uh, emergency doctors to make the right uh, diagnosis and to go directly to the surgery. And how has having the V-Scanner impacted the uh, interface with the patients? When I need to, uh, to, to do exam, I say to them, well, we need to have a, a small ultrasound exam. Uh, okay, I have to take a day to go somewhere to do it. No, don't move, just have it. Oh, wow, no, it's impossible. So really, it's, uh, it's amazing for them. It's uh, very um, reassuring. She had uh, so fever, vomiting, and a special 
um, a special pain on the right side of her belly with these kind of images. So I suggest it's uh, an appendix infection and I told her parents to go to, to the hospital. Dr. Merlin, it's been lovely spending the day with you. Um, Thank you. Where are you off to next? For the moment, that's, uh, there's nothing, uh, there's no patient in this area, so I have to wait. Back home for a cup of tea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.